All praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double owners to Apostle Elders in New York. GMS, so I tell you, the world is teaching the truth. All right, and uh, my name is Maya Kaala Bangad with Chicago Branch of Great Millstone. All right, and uh, I'd like to make the disclaimer that we are not black Hebrew Israelites, we are Hebrew Israelites or Israelites. All right, black is a color, not a nationality. Nobody is a color of a tar. Okay. There is like so the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and a confusion of faces that scatter abroad. All right, so right here, this article, um, talking about the five G, it said the feds try to end a debate over five G health concerns data sheet. All right, and this is on www.fortune.com. All right, it says uh, this is the web versus the day shift Fortune Day newsletter on the top ten news. All right, but anyway, let's skip down here to uh, this point right here. It said, it's the question everyone wants to go away. Are 5G wireless networks safe? Are they at risk to human health? All right, so it says on Thursday, the Federal Communications, all right, basically, yeah, Federal Communications Commission, the Food and Drug Administration tried to put the question to bed once more. The FCC announced it will hold its radio frequency exposure limits for cell phones, cell towers, and other wireless gear at, at um current levels all right no cell tower no, no weapons man all right it said the use of the new frequency as part of the 5g rollout did not change the situation as he said after a review of scientific record and cons consult consultations with health agency we find it appropriate to maintain existing regular frequency limits which are among the most strengthened stringent in the world for cell phones, Julius Napa, chief of FCC Office of Engineering Technology, said they came back with the accepted uh, comments from Jeffrey Shurn, director of Food and Drug Administration Center for Devices and Radiological Health. The available scientific evidence to date does not support the adverse health effects in humans due to exposure at or under current limit. No change to the current standards are warranted this time, Shurn explained. A letter cited and part by the FCC, and this is what we call Esau, um, a deceiver, man. All right, because you know this does, you know this guy is a liar, man. All right, read this at First Corinthians chapter, um, not First Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "Late, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not in device. Wait, we're not in devices, man. And we know this, these, these, these five G, uh, um." <clears throat> the five, this 5G, man, it, it, it affects your health, man. And, you know, the brother and, and, uh, and our camp here, Great Millstone, a uh, brother by the name of Ryla, uh, he said his wife had a headache, man, while uh, using the uh, 5G, man. All right. You know, so he's all, he, you know, he's a liar, man. All right. The 5G ways, like uh, they got. Um, was it Alex Jones? You know he sold it. <laughs> you know he sold out, man. You know to uh, you know by her he been part of him. Her, he's uh, what they say he is. Okay, they a Knights Templar, something like him and Charlotte Chain Knights Templar, man. You know, but anyway, man, he you know he's part of uh, uh the system, man. He's not who he proposed to be. But anyway, the point is that he stated that the five G. It's, uh, it's harmful to humans, man, which it is, man. All right. It says, uh, Psalms chapter 10, verse uh, 7 says, talking about Esau, it says, His mouth is full of curse and deceit and fraud on his tongue is mischief and vanity. Right? So this is deceit, man. He's saying there's no health concerns, man. All right. It says, um, go back there. It says, they're also, they're also the same conclusion that scientific association is to of electrical electronic engineers so I if he came back in February with a complete review of recommended exposure and limbs also agreed to maintain them at current levels but the announcer I like it to end the debate warriors can point out a few studies decisions by the World Health Organization internal agency for research on cancer classified cellular radio waves as a possible carcinogen back in 2011 yeah, yeah. it's a countries like Belgium and Switzerland had delayed so why did Belgium and Switzerland delay these 5G, man? 
All right, it said, in countries like Belgium and Switzerland had delayed fashion networks over health concerns. On the other side, research from the American Cancer Society and National Institute of Health, among others, had concluded there are no risks. All right, so they're going to go along with it. All right. The World Health Zone has a vast and stunning way that perhaps will offer more definitive results for a truly deep dive. Check out the page maintained by the National Cancer Institute on cell phones and cancer. I mean, we'll sell where they came out, man. People. Uh, they said they had brain cancer. It was causing brain cancer, man. It said falling money column on the road out of Apple's new credit card. People had started receiving email, email, um, invitation to apply from Apple, but not everyone to wait. I'm trying to see what the hell this got to do with it anyway. All right, but the thing is, man, that um, that Fadgy, man, that's 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 not good, man. You know, I advise you, uh, I can, I can try, you know, avoid it at all costs, man. You know, it, it does mess with your health, man. It help you mess, does mess with your health, man. And I have, uh, you know, testimony from uh, my brother with, with in our camp here in uh, Chicago. You know, Great Millstone, Chicago, man. All right, so, uh, you know, shout out.